Okay, addressing some things. We're out here and the rain is coming down. Um, yeah, <laughs> but we've got a nice spot. I'm on a, um, a slab out here, so I'm nice and level and uh, in, a, in a good place, yeah. It wouldn't have been so good to stay down at the bottom by the lake because coming up, that couldn't get muddy and it would get slick coming back out of there. So uh, I'm happy where I'm at. I got a nice view of this little mountain back over here and a nice green um, pine right next to me. So yeah, and I can see the lake over here, out of here. So we're in a very nice place. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this tonight and tonight I'm going to try um, I'm going to try this I've never had one of these now there are people I've seen in van life that, that do these that say it's great so I'm going to give it a shot tonight and try having a beef stew okay it's uh, you put in boiling water a cup and what does it say a cup and three quarters cup and three quarters of boiling water you close it um, you leave it sit five minutes open it up stir it and leave it sit another four minutes and then you've got reconstituted stew <laughs> I don't know doesn't sound wonderful but they say it's good and they say this brand is good so I'm gonna give it a shot we'll, we'll try it tonight and see easy breezy so anyway, somebody was telling me I should get um, I should get crates for the dogs because they would like it. They've got fold-up crates. Well, I have no place to put a fold-up crate. And when I unfold it and I put it in here, uh, what am I going to do? They could still see out the windows, okay? So, you know, being in here is like being in a big crate. As long as the windows are covered, they don't see out and they're not barking. They're quiet. But if they can see out of the windows and somebody's going by, uh, they will bark. So now I've got two, two dead puppies at the moment. Say, no, we're not dead. We're just resting. Don't throw us away or nothing. <laughs> so when we got here, we went down by the lake and I put them on the 16-foot thing so they were able to run a bit more. And they enjoyed that. They came up, and now they're they're worn out. They're toast again, so they're going to um, chillax here for a little while, which is good. Oh, my goodness. Happy puppies. So anyway, yeah, that's where that's at when it comes to crating them and putting them in. I don't think they would really like to be in the kennel. They, that, that's why they like the car because it is kind of like a kennel. It's a nice cozy place. They feel comfortable here. Now today, um, I opened the, Mr. Mickey doesn't like to get out of the side of the car. He insists he's got to get out of the back because he can jump down from the back. Now I opened the back and he jumped out real quick before I got him. Thank God he didn't take off anywhere. And I got him hooked up. Now, Miss Lily's the other opposite. She likes to come out the side. <laughs> I don't know these two. Oh, they, they definitely each have their own personality, that's for sure. So I went on the way in, I saw there was a flea market in Gallup, and I said, oh, great. So I went by there, and it's closed. It's only open on Saturday. So then I had to come back, uh, I had to come further, you know, you go down I-40 usually. Well, I took the back way and it did a lot of winding and stuff. So it was a lot further to go the back way, but it was so pretty. And I saw I-40 and it's all these semis, just semi after semi after semi going down. Now I could have gotten here uh, much quicker by going I-40, but it was a beautiful um, trip going the back way. I saw big fields of lazy-eyed Susan, big yellow fields of flowers, and it was so much nicer. I don't care 
if it takes longer. I don't care if I use a little more gas. Uh, it is so worth it. This whole trip, I've done no, um, no freeways at all. And uh, it is just so much more relaxing to do the back road things. And uh, I'm gonna continue to do that. Now I'm thinking about, you know, trying to debate what to do next. Um, but I think after I'm done with Gallup, hopefully I find that, that piece that I wanted to, to get. And if I find it, I'll be wearing that a lot. Um, it would be wearing this one and then the squash blossom, a petty point or needle point squash, and maybe try to wear this one as well with it. Um, so we'll see. But, um, you know, after that, I'm thinking about maybe running by the house. I should have already some more of my, um, my bags for my ostomy supplies should have been delivered so they might be sitting at the house so uh, go check that out and then also maybe pick up some of my cds i should carry them with me you know just in case i don't have one cd i don't even have it on my phone i have none of my music with me really <laughs> So I'll pick up maybe some of my CDs in case somebody that's coming to the Hoga, the, the Hogarth thing up in Santa Fe, if um, they're interested in my flute music, then they could buy a CD. So um, I'm thinking about doing that uh, because you just never know. Somebody may decide they like my music and like to have the CD of it. So I have three CDs out. For new people <laughs> that don't know, I have three CDs out. The first one is my favorite, Mystery Shared. And that one is um, very eclectic. The first track on that is called Dancing with Raw. I have one that sound, that's very Chinese that I did all of it myself, uh, put it together. And then I have some that are more um, with some jungle sounds on them. And just, it's very eclectic and it's nice to listen to uh, if you're driving or whatever. Um, more upbeat type things with that as well, some of them. And then the other two CDs are more uh, quiet, just, um, yeah, they're, they're a more meditative type of a thing than, than is the first one. Now the first one, I actually had them pick it up on the Pagan radio station and were playing it and I was nominated for Female Entertainer of the Year. So that's pretty good for my first CD and, and being nominated. I didn't get it. I was nominated the next year as well. Didn't get it then either, but it was nice to be nominated two years in a row because of that CD. So um, I really do like the music on that. Um, so yeah, I'll have to pick up some of those CDs just in case somebody um, is interested in those. So I'm thinking that's what I will do next and then head out again continue out. I'm just, I'm not even, I don't even think I'm going to stay the day at the house, just run in and pick up stuff and um, that's probably it and then take off again right away. So that's what's going on. Um, plans and no plans, etc. It stopped raining again for a few minutes. Let me see. I see. Oh, it's still dark clouds out there, so we'll probably... We've got dark over there, we've got dark over here, we've got dark over here. We'll get some more rain. It's just kind of coming in uh, in layers. <laughs> One comes in and then it goes out. And, yep. So that's all good and fine. So on that note, I will leave that here. And uh, 
you know, thank you for everybody. You know, if I'm not online for a day or two, don't freak out. Don't worry. Because a, a lot of the places where I'm at, there's just no signal. Okay, and if there's no signal, I can't put anything out. It's that simple. And a lot of the areas here in New Mexico are without a signal, especially when you're doing the back roads like I'm doing. And um, I do want to do some of the forest areas and things, and there never signals in the forest areas, okay? If you get a signal, it's a rare, rare, rare thing. Um, so again, if I'm not online for a day or two, don't freak out. Don't get panicked. I'm fine. I'm just not where I have a signal <laughs> going. Oh my Lord. See, that's the hard thing about YouTube. I love everybody on it, but uh, people get freaked out. Um, they get freaked out if you're not online because they're used to seeing you every day, every day, every day. And um, so sometimes it just happens that I may not have a signal. And it's not that I'm trying to ignore you or, you know, it, it's nothing like that. But it's just that there's no signal. And there's no place close where you can get a signal. Okay. I can drive almost all day and not find a signal anywhere out here in many parts of New Mexico. And like I said, especially doing the back roads because I'm going across a lot of reservation area and things and there's just, you know, uh, signals are few and far between out here. So on that note, I'll leave that here because uh, where I'm at out here, I've got a little signal, but very, very little. It may come in and go out as well. It's on LTE. I'm not really on the 5G or 4G or anything. So it's very sketchy, but we'll see if I can get these uploaded. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you online. I might make myself some coffee here again in just a little while.